All right, here we go today. We've got three tools I'm gonna to be showing you. One of them is the socket blocker. We've got another tool right here called the brush buddy. And then we've got the tadpole tape cutter. We're gonna be going over these three, three tools and we're gonna be talking a little bit about them. I'm gonna share a little about what they are, what they do, and whether I would use them or not. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, hit the little subscribe button, but you also gotta hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. Notification bell, hit it, bang it, slam it, do whatever you've gotta do. Now onto the video. So the first one I'll talk about, hey, let's talk about the brush buddy right now. This I was just sent recently. I was sent a whole bucket of these little brush buddies and there's a website on the back. It says brushbuddy.com. So I went to the website and guess what? Um, there was no website. So I couldn't get any information on what they are. It says they're $3.99. Um, I opened them up and I actually really, really liked the product. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And this is a little copper brush holder that goes on your brush. I've been sent you know, quite a few brush holders over the years and I've never really liked any of them. A lot of like the magnetized ones that go in your buckets, they just get lost. Um, they fall in the paint or they go in your drawer, they get stuck on something magnetized and you can't find them again. This one actually attaches to your brush. So it comes, it's this little copper device right here and you just screw it on your brush. So I'm just gonna bend it up like this and I'm gonna screw it wherever I want on my brush. So I've got a drill here, let's just screw this thing on. See if I can screw it on easy. Um, I don't have a magnetized bit, but um, let's get busy here. And wow, that's a little tiny screw, so I don't I think that bit is, might be too big for that screw. Um, it is too big for the screw. Make sure your drill bit's going the right direction. All right, there's one screw, second screw, get that second screw on here. We'll show you what it looks like. So the brush buddy right here. So now it just bends right back. So this is a device I actually really like. Of all the brush holders I've ever seen, this is one I'd actually use. And I've actually made a video quite a while ago using um, cup hooks, one inch cup hooks. Drill a hole, just screw a cup hook in there, but the cup hook kind of sticks out and gets in the way a little bit. I thought that's a pretty cool way, you know, to hang your brushes, but that is a really cool way to hold your brush. It doesn't stick out as much. So people that like brush holders, I think this device is actually really cool. Now the question is, where can you get them? I have no idea. So the guy sent them to me. There is a phone number on the back. I called him on the phone. He was really busy um, up on a ladder painting or something like that. He said he's gonna get back to me, um, shoot me an email. Hopefully I can find out where we can get them and I'll leave it down in the video description below. But they are $3.99. It is made of copper, so it bends, it flexes. So however you want to hang it, whatever you want to do, there it is. This is, once again, it's called the Brush Buddy. And then once again, I think this is one of the coolest ways to hang a brush. If you're one of those guys that likes to hang your brush inside your bucket, so it's not down inside the gallon of paint. If you don't like screwing holes in um, your really nice paint brushes, well, then that's not an option for you because you do have two holes drilled in there now. Um, we'll show you, I'm gonna unscrew this. I don't mind, like I've um, screwed holes in my brushes before, unscrewed them, and it's just a tiny little hole. It's not gonna have a whole lot of fact, but I'm gonna put this back on there one more time. You can see that it can be moved and removed, um, made out of copper, so uh, high quality metal. There. And I believe it's actually invented by a painter. So if you want to actually support a fellow painter, there you go. I like it so much, I'm going to try to get them in my store. So you might find them in our store at store.theidahopainter.com. But there it is, the brush buddy. So let's talk about the tadpole, something that we don't have to have a drill to like attach. So the tadpole, this little device, it attaches to a roll of tape. And what I really found useful with this product, this is one product I would recommend that you get. First when I got it, oh my gosh, it was just this little thing that tears tape, would, um, no big deal. But then I had some French doors to do, a bunch of windows. And what I realized is I'm sitting there cutting, trying to cut with a knife and trim my tape and 
cut out and put all these little bits and pieces on my French doors. Well, this thing actually tears the tape at a perfect 90 degree angle every single time. So now with your French doors, if you're doing some French doors, you can sit there and get perfect 90 degree tears of tape each and every time. So now I can just take, go to all my corners on my French door, bam, bam, just hit my corners with this tape right here like that, and then I've got perfect corners, then I'll just take my paper and fill it in. So it just attaches right here with this little simple little elastic band right here, stays on the tape. They make different sizes, so we actually use them in our store right here for packaging tape. And that was what you would think would be the most common use. They work really, really well, packaging tape. Here's some frog tape right here, and I mean, kind of interesting, you got, Frog tape and tadpole. A tadpole turns into a frog. What a coincidence. They're not owned by the same company though. So it just attaches simply and easily. You just sent a box of them and I thought, hey, that's pretty interesting. And it holds, that, holds your tape off the end of the roll of tape so you're not sitting there and scratching, searching to find your tape. So perfect 90 degree corners. Typically when we're masking windows, and I'll show you over here on a window here what it looks like. I can get 90 degree corners every single time. Once again, that is the Tadpole Tape Cutter. They do come in. This is two sizes right here. This is an inch and a half, and this is a one inch, and then I believe they have like a two inch one. That's what our packaging tape is. Three different sizes. All right, now we talked about the Tadpole, talked about frogs a little bit. Let's talk about a socket a blocker. I've been sent a whole bunch of these things in the past and these things are little devices that go over like light sockets and, um, and um, socket plugs outlets to keep them covered so you don't get paint on them, so you don't roll paint on them or spray paint on them. I've never really um, been impressed with a lot of them. I got these sent to me and one of the things I really liked about these is they've got um, double-sided tape on them so they just stick on really quick and really easy. Now I'm going to tell you. I haven't tried them yet, so I have a whole bunch of them. We're gonna cut a pair over them. I'm gonna show you these right here, what they look like. I kind of messed around with them inside um, my house. This one's been reused a handful of times and it's still sticking pretty good. So one of the only things I've really found, it's just kind of a little bit of annoying just peeling this off and I'm getting better and better at peeling, just grabbing a corner, getting the corner off and sticking these things on. But they're definitely, these things are staying on there pretty good. And that is definitely gonna protect your sockets. That actually does look a lot more professional than trying to put tape you know, around that socket. All right, so now I took the socket blockers and messed around with them a little bit more to try to give you a little bit more advice and some more firsthand you know, recommendations or firsthand um, knowledge on the devices. So I got four stacked together here. I've used it in different scenarios, multiple switches together. They cover the switches 100%. They stick on amazing. They don't come off. So they got multiple points that would actually stick on the socket. I thought maybe these things, you'd um, hit them a little bit and they would fall off. Once you put them on, they are on. Once you pull them off, you can stack them. And they keep separated um, a little bit right here so they come apart pretty easily. I was able to get them apart very easily. So I do like how they cover the outlets, the switches. We use them on round switches, square switches, and they cover them all 100%. The only thing, just pulling off these tabs, the more I did it, the quicker I got pulling it off, just getting a corner so it didn't annoy me so much as it did the first few times using them. So it is a device, it's pretty interesting. Once again, it's that, that one question is just, are you going to run out to your vehicle and grab you know, a bin full of socket blockers and put them on versus you've got a roll of tape sitting right next to you, grab a roll of tape and do it the traditional way that we've been doing it for you know, 18 years now. I do, I do gotta say these things look a lot more professional 
than using um, tape. And also tape, here's one drawback. If you use tape like this, like a production tape, if you put it on your switches or plates and you don't take it off, like this is like a three day release. If you wait four or five days, um, you're gonna have splintering issues with adhesive on your switch plates and stuff. This, it sticks onto the screws of where your actually outlet or switch screws in to the box and it doesn't leave anything on um, this, the outlet or the switch itself. So it pulls right off and that's not gonna be an issue. There it is, socket blocker. Got three tools right here. Um, one of them, the tadpole. The tadpole is a tool that I would use. It's something, especially when I'm masking French doors, when you got a lot of corners you gotta do, you're gonna be a lot faster using a tadpole than you are just ripping and tearing paint typically are ripping and tearing tape typically i just overrun my tape on the corners then i just cut it with a knife and um this is going to save you a little bit of time the other thing the socket blocker the socket blocker you know i would have to test this thing out you know in a, quite a few different scenarios to see if it's something i would recommend i'm just kind of curious what you guys think about it uh they're inexpensive to buy to test out so you might want to give them a try let us know but once again down in the comments section below let me know whether you would buy them whether you use them or not then the next tool is the brush buddy it's something out there i don't even know if it's sold anywhere right now but i'm going to get that information i'll leave it down in the video description below three tools Tool Talk Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified next time we come out with another tool for you on Tool Talk Tuesday. Out.